Hey guys, it's V, and in this video we will be doing practice derivative problems using the power rule and the sum and differences rule. So just to recap, uh, the derivative of a function where uh, there's a variable base raised to a constant power equals the constant multiplied by the variable base raised to the constant minus 1. That is, x to the n, the derivative of x to the n, equals n times x to the n minus 1. The next rule that you know is that when you're adding two functions, two separate functions, and you want to take the derivative of the entire entity, that derivative equals the derivative of each independent function added to each other. So, for example, if you have f of x plus g of x, the derivative of this entire quantity equals f prime x plus g prime x. So, our first problem is the following. f of x equals 2x cubed plus 4x plus 4. So what we want to find is f prime x, or the derivative of f of x. So notice that when we look at this function, we see that there's a base x raised to a constant number, here and here. This can be our as 1. And the first thing I think when I see a base raised to a constant number is the power rule. So let's do that. So let's take the derivative of this function. So according to the power rule, we're supposed to bring this exponent down. So let's do that. We keep the 2. And we raise this to the this constant minus 1. Let's do that again for this. Remember, bring down the constant, which is, bring down the exponent, which is 1. Multiply it by the constant in front and raise it to the exponent minus 1. And any time you take the derivative of a constant, that equals 0. In this case, 4 is equal to is a constant, so you add 0. So to find this out, we get f prime x equals 3 times 2 is 6, x to the 3 minus 1 is 2 plus 1 times 4 is 4, x to the 1 minus 1 is 0. We know x to the 0 is 1, so now we can write this as f prime x equals 6x squared plus 4. So the next problem we have today is the following. f of x equals x to the 2 thirds power plus 3x to the 2 fifths power plus x squared. So again, notice that in this case, we have the, the format of having a base x raised to a constant power, whether it's 2 thirds, 2 fifths, or 2. So the first thing I think of is the power rule. So let's, do the, let's find the derivative of this function using the power rule. And again, we can do this because also because of the sum rule, because we can take each derivative of each, independ each independent term and add them together. So in this case, the derivative of the first term is, remember, bring down the constant. So that's 2 thirds x. And remember, you want to subtract 1 from that, from the, from the exponent, so 2 thirds minus 1, plus the second term, bring down the 2 fifths, 2 fifths times, remember, we have to keep the 3, x to the 2 fifths minus 1. And the last term, remember, bring down to 2, x to the 2 minus 1. Now, we want to simplify this, so we get f prime x equals 2 thirds x to the 2 thirds minus 1 is 2 thirds minus 3 over 3, which equals negative 1 third plus 2 over 5 times 3 equals 6 over 5 x to the 2 fifths minus 1 is 2 fifths minus 5 over 5, which equals negative 3 over 5 plus, remember we keep the 2 and the x, and the 2 minus 1 is 1, so we get x to the 1. So we now know that the derivative of f of x equals this quantity right here. That is 2 thirds x to the negative 1 third power plus 6 fifths x to the negative 3 fifths power plus 2x. So the next problem we have here is a little bit trickier but it's still manageable and it reads f of x equals x to the negative 1 third power plus x to the negative second power plus 3. So again we notice a constant a variable base x raised to a constant power, so we need to use the power rule. So taking the derivative, or f prime x, we bring down for the first term, we bring down the negative one-third, keep the x, and remember we're subtracting the exponent from 1. That's the first term. Second term, we do the exact same thing, bring down the exponent, then subtract it from 1. And remember, constant derivative of constant is 0, so this would be plus 0. Simplifying this, we get f prime x equals negative one third x to the negative one third minus one is negative one third minus three over three, which equals negative four over three minus two x to the negative two minus one is negative three. So we know that the derivative of f of x equals this function right here. But notice 
that these two terms can be written as 1 over cube root of x and 1 over x squared. But notice that this is not in the format of the power rule that we need, or x to the nth power. And this, looking at it this way, we can't really find the derivative. So what we need to do is we always need to convert it into this format. We always need to convert it into a base x raised to a constant power. So whenever you see something like this, something complicated like this, immediately convert it into this format, x to the n power. n can be negative, n and can be a fraction, n can be a decimal, n can be anything. But the most important part is that we need to convert it into this kind of format. Thank you guys for watching, and please comment and subscribe below.